I just released a Mac app for Task TXT, and this is, I think, the best way to use Task TXT. Simply having a dedicated place on your computer where you don't need to search through tabs to access your Task TXT notes makes it way easier to use because you can think of something, quickly tab over to Task TXT and enter it in. So you're more likely to use it and you get more of the benefits. If you don't already know, Task TXT is a task timing notepad. So it's like a to-do list, but it has little timer buttons next to each task so that instead of just starting on a task, you actually commit to it by hitting the timer button and then you're on the clock and that keeps you really focused. You can also put in a guess for how long you think the task will take. So now you're sort of racing against your own guess, further increasing your focus. And Task TXT is based all around plain text. So you don't really need to learn a special app. It's just text. You can use it however you want. You can type in notes wherever you want. And you don't really need to learn anything to understand the UI. Now the Mac app is a wrapper around the website. And usually when an app is a wrapper around a website, it looks like a website. It doesn't feel like a Mac app. But this has to be one of the most Mac-like apps that's built with this kind of a technique. It looks more like a Mac app than some native Mac apps. So I want to show you a few of the things that make it feel really nice on the Mac. The first is this vibrancy effect in the sidebar. So I was careful to include that because I love how that looks and it's really the sign of a real Mac app. And so I do a few tweaks of the text styles to make sure everything looks nice on this sidebar. I also changed this icon here for collapsing the sidebar to make it look like the one that you'd expect on a Mac. Now speaking of these icons in the sidebar, when the app goes into the background, a lot of the colors change to match how native Mac apps look when they're put into the background. Now the web app doesn't do this because it's not typically expected for a web app. It's the kind of thing you don't really explicitly notice, but it just makes it feel at home on your Mac. So I hope you'll download my new Task TXT Mac app, give it a try. You can use it for free, just like the website, and you can subscribe for unlimited pages.